Hey everybody, it's Charles from HumbleMechanic.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take the bumper cover off a of Volkswagen. So we are doing this job as part of my rehab of fixing my turn signals on my personal car, my 05 Passat. You will also see a video coming out, or maybe it is out, if it's out, it's linked, uh, on how to fix the wiring inside the headlight. But before we get the headlights out, we gotta take the bumper cover off. This is also step one of putting the vehicle in service position to do things like timing belt, uh, alternators, you don't really have to, but technically you do, and several repairs that require more space in the front of the vehicle. Not gonna need a whole lot of tools on this one. You're going to need a T25, going to need a flat blade screwdriver, you're gonna need a longer, thin flat blade screwdriver. You're also going to need a T30. So a very simple tool list on this job. My first step is going to be removing the T30s that hold the center grill on, but you don't just wanna rip the grill out. You need to release the hood pull, and there's a tab right here. A word of caution, the hood pull and these tabs really like to break. So when you're removing these, be really careful. While you're doing this job, you're going to be working in this small opening. I went ahead and removed the cover so you can see what I'm doing better. With our long flat blade screwdriver, start by lifting up on the metal retention clip. After the clip is out of the way, we're gonna insert the screwdriver between the two tabs of the plastic hood pull. Rotate the screwdriver slightly so that it opens wide enough to clear the metal pin that holds it in place. Once the tabs are spread open wide enough, pull forward on the plastic hood release pull and remove it from the hood latch. Set these to the side. Now there are going to be different fasteners, so you may wanna group them accordingly. Next, we wanna gently pull up and push this tab in on the grill. If it doesn't come up right away, just kind of work your way around it because you really, if you pull hard on it, you might break it. If your grill gets stuck in the bumper, you don't wanna just rip it right off. We can reach up underneath and squeeze the tabs. That works really well. That's kind of my favorite way to do it. If that doesn't work, you can leave the grill on, but we need to get to these four screws in order to get the bumper cover off. These are T30s as well. It's not totally necessary, but it's a nice step and not a bad idea to go ahead and put some masking tape along the bumper just to be sure that you don't scratch it. And it also doesn't hurt to do up along the headlight either. Now for the last group of fasteners we need to get to, it's a little bit easier if we turn the steering wheel. This would be where doing it on a lift would make it a lot easier. Now, these go through the fender liner into the bumper cover. There's gonna be three T25s facing to the front of the vehicle and one at the very top facing up. Now, this final screw that's facing up holds the bumper cover to the fender, so it's facing up right where the bumper and the fender meet. And of course, everything is the same on the passenger side. Next, we need to remove the three flathead fasteners at the bottom of the bumper one on the left side, one in the center, and one on the right side. All the fasteners are out. You can see that it's pretty loose. But before we go yanking the bumper cover off, we need to make sure we disconnect the fog lights as well as the marker lights in the bumper. We're gonna slide the bumper cover forward and pull it away a little bit and then go ahead and disconnect the marker light. Usually you just have to pull it straight out. And then of course the fog light connector is gonna be located quite a bit lower than that. If you have factory fog lights, it's just one connector. In my case, I have aftermarket ones, so there's gonna be two. And then what I usually do is I put the bumper cover back on and go and do the other side. Now we have everything disconnected. We can grab the bumper cover by the center and slide it forward and away from the car. Next, we're gonna set the bumper cover on so that we can plug all of our lights back in. So what I normally do is I just get it close like that and then I pull it away, 
holding it on the car with my leg and then plug in the marker lights as well as the fog lights if it has it. Typically I do the fog lights first, get your marker light plugged in, set the bumper cover back on, and then go put the lights on on the other side. Now that the lights are plugged in, we can actually install the bumper cover correctly. This needs to slide. So there's two pieces right here, and then there's two corresponding channels on the bumper cover. So you need to push the bumper cover towards the car and slide it into place like that. If you have a bit of a gap right here, once we get a couple screws to hold the cover on, I'll show you how to take care of that. Otherwise, you won't have your alignment of your bumper cover correct. Now from here, we can go ahead and take all of our tape off. That way we can get a good look at our alignments of our bumper. So this is gonna come pretty close. So that's about what it's gonna look like when we're done. A nice even gap all across the bumper and between the bumper and the fender. Now, I mentioned that if there were too big of a gap, like this stuck out like this, that I'd show you how to fix that. And the way to do that is the screw that comes up from the bumper into the fender is the key for this. So we wanna start the screw and then if you need to manipulate it or move it at all, go ahead and do it. This one's gonna line up pretty good. Just like that. And now we got basically a perfect alignment on their fender and bumper. Now this side looks pretty good too, so we're not gonna have to make too big of an adjustment for this gap right here. Looks like I'm just gonna need to slide the bumper cover back a little bit and that'll get it lined up right. I have had cases where you really gotta crank down on it to get the bumper cover back on correctly. Those are usually cases where someone has wrecked their car though. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and put the fasteners back in at the bottom of the bumper. There's one on the left side, one on the right side, and one in the middle. Next, I like to put the four bolts across the front of the bumper. Now we can go ahead and put our grill back on. The best way I've found to install these grills is to slowly lower it down into the bumper cover the way that it's gonna sit while it's in the car. Then what we do is we push it back a little bit to get our bottom alignment tabs and the two alignment tabs here, and then just snap it into place. Put our last T30s in. And next we're going to do the hood pull. This is the part where it usually breaks. The best way I've found is to push the hood latch back just a little bit. Take your flat blade screwdriver, open it up just a little bit, and then push it all the way back as far as it'll go. And that almost all the time gets it. Now you can see we're installed, the alignment pins in, and in fact, the retention clip <laughs> went ahead and snapped itself into place. So good, now when we pull the outer hood pull, we can open the hood. And of course we don't wanna to forget to put our quarter turns back in down in the bottom. And after that, all's left is to make sure that all our gaps look good, our lights still work. Double check your hood pull, it's better to have it broken with the hood up than down. Put the last couple covers on and we are all done. All right guys, that's it. You have successfully removed and installed a bumper cover on an 05 Passat. Very similar on the Audi side. This will cover from 98 to 05 Passat and most other Volkswagens are actually really similar. So you can sort of use this as a guide to help you with your Volkswagen bumper. With that, I'm gonna wrap it up. Questions, comments down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube and over on the blog at humblemechanic.com. If you want discounts to places like Eastwood, Adams Polishes, Eurowise, Scanner Danner's Book, MT Knives, Sonic Tools, and more, check out the Crew Membership Program. Really awesome stuff down there, as well as exclusive content and uh, VW Audio training manuals, of course, for the classes that we teach. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, Snapchat. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I love you. Glad to have my turn signals working again, and I'll see you next time.